We live. Shall the one, shall the one. Once again, we back out again to prophesy the downfall and destruction of this sinful kingdom called America, also known as Babylon and uh, Egypt. Is Sodom and Gomorrah. Right. Before we go any further, we want to give all praise, all honor, and all glory to our heavenly Father. Only we got son. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem with Kakadash. Next, double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone, and taught us the 100% truth of the Bible, along with the King James Bible, along with the Apocrypha. And double shout of one to the brothers of Kuwait on the highways and byways and do these lessons to feed the elect. And like we always do, the 12 tribes sign. <clears throat> First, we have Judah, the so called Negroes, Benjamin, the so called West Indians. Levi, the so-called Haitians, Simeon, the so-called Dominicans, Zebulon, the so-called Guat Guatemanians, the Panamanians, Ephraim, the so-called Puerto Ricans, Manasseh, the so-called Cubans, Gad, the so-called North American Indians, Reuben, the so-called Seminole Indians, Neftali, the so-called Art Art Argentinians, the Chileans, Asher, the so-called Colombians, the Uruguayans, and last but not least, Issachar, the so-called Mexicans. If you see yourself on this sign, turn back to the Heavenly Father and repent or be destroyed. That's right. Somebody give me Psalms 34. Love you. <coughs> okay. We are here to give a message to our people, man. All right? And our people, according to the Bible, all right, it's your so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Your biblical nationality is Hebrew Israelites. All right, those guys over there in the land of Israel are not the real Jews, they're not the real Israelites, man. Okay, you fit the biblical prophecy, man. And we have a message for our people. That message is to repent, man. Because the times that are coming, all right, it's gonna be all out hell for our people, man. Yeah, these other nations are gonna get caught up in it. All right, but the anger that the Lord is bringing is mainly for our people. What? Yeah, bring it up. The Psalms 34 and 11. Come, ye children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. That's right, and that's what we're trying to teach our people, man. To fear the God of the Bible. There's no fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah in this land, man. And we're telling our people to fear, which means to be greatly terrified of someone or something that can cause pain, right? Get Deuteronomy 32 and 39. Mm -hmm. Keep reading. This is Psalms 34 and 11. Talk, Show. Come, ye children, hearken unto me, and I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Mm -hmm. What man is he that desireth life? In love, loveth many days, that he may see good. That was it. Come on, come on. You know? What I mean, what I say? Okay, go ahead. You know, part of that fear of the Lord is his knowledge. Yep. You know? Uh, is getting the wisdom, knowledge, understanding, understanding of the scriptures, which is going to be able to keep our people stable. Like when the brother said, when all hell is breaking loose, you know? When the Lord brings that indignation upon our people and these other nations, there's going to be anarchy in the streets of America. But you having that good dose of the fear of the Lord, having this understanding, you know, it's going to be able to keep you stable during those times. Yep. That's right, man. You're only going to get this message on the highways and byways, man. You think your enemy's going to tell you to fear the Lord? No, man. Because our people have been taught it's been love, 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 man. But the Lord deals with balance, man. You got to love them and fear them, man. But that fear comes first. Okay, so Come. This is Deuteronomy chapter 10. Verse 12, and now Israel, mm -hmm. what do the Lord thy power require thee? Somebody get that definition, Bubba Kishaw, required. The Lord said, what, do the, what does he require of thee, man? So the Lord requires something, man. Our people are walking around the streets, no, not yet. wherever they're at in their captivity, whether it's here in America, whether it's in London, whether it's in, you know, uh, 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 Cuba, whether it's in Haiti. Okay? It doesn't matter. The Lord requires something of us, man. You got it? Yeah. 
whoever got it first bring it out. It's required a verb mm -hmm. to claim or ask by right or authority. Read it again. It is required a verb mm -hmm. to claim or ask for right. I mean, to ask for by right and authority. But ask for ask by an authority, man. Who's the authority you have by Shimia was shot, right? And he's asking us to do these things, which Jake don't want to do. You know, part of the law is put down shrimp, man. Not even touch it. But Jake loves it, man. You know? That's, 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 that's what Jake considers good eating, man. High class dining, man. And eating some uh, 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 roaches of the sea, man. To call for a suitable or appropriate calls for a suitable and appropriate. And what the Lord considers suitable and appropriate is first and foremost fear. Oh, please ask us 12 and 13. Okay? That's the main thing is to fear him, man. Because he's the one that, that controls the issues of life and death and can, and can and mess you up, man. As it tells you in um, 1 Samuel, the second chapter, man. basketball stars. It wasn't to be athletes, entertainers. It wasn't supposed to be our women to walk around with WAP, okay? And promote it, you know? Go ahead. Fear the most high uh -huh. and keep his commandments. Right, fear the most high, man. And keep his commandments. There was, uh, that's, that's the requirements, to keep the commandments. That's what the Lord's asking us to do, man, right? And if you don't do it, there's a consequence for that, man. For this is the whole duty of man. This is the whole reason why we was even created, man. Put here on this earth was to fear the Lord and keep the commandments. It's not that hard, man. It's not that hard. And we're here to, to tell our people, that look, man, fear, man, fear. We can't stress that enough, because what's coming down the pipeline, the Lord's gonna make you fear that way. Since you didn't want to fear the Lord by hearkening to his men and, and hearkening to the words, the wisdom, and not understanding the scriptures, the Lord's going to bring things down the pipeline that you're going to be really scared of, man. You know? And the Lord knows what you're scared of, man. You never get scared of you know, Stephen King, you know? They get scared of uh, these, uh, hmm. you know, these movies. Especially the woman, man. She loves going to see a scary movie. But the Lord's going to really put a scary movie in front of her, man. Especially the woman of our nation, man. What about having any thoughts and wars, man? <laughs> is that it? Okay. Wait, bro. This is um, Jeremiah chapter 5. What's our uh, 20? Declare this in the house of Jacob. Yeah, it must consist of these so called uh, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. From Judah all the way down to Issachar. And we can't forget the Israelite foreigner. Alright, because you are Israelites too, man. Who see goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You just look like these heathen nations from where we've been scattered, man. You know? Declare this in the house of Jacob and publish it in Judah, mm -hmm. saying, Hear now this, O foolish people. Lord calls the foolish people, man. And you got to be foolish, man. Here it is, the Lord gave us life, man. Through this wisdom, this understanding. But yeah, our people are choosing death, man. But everyone claims they want to live, right? That's why you see Jake driving with mask on. He wants to live, man. You know? You see Jake uh, 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 working out, taking care of themselves, because they want to live, man. But yeah, um, They want to exist in America. Yeah, so they can continue in their wickedness. That's what it's about. That's the only reason why Jake want to, want to live, man, so they continue in their folly, their wickedness. Yeah, because they're not really living, you know? You only live when we got this knowledge. Right. This is what makes us alive. Uh, verse 21 again, Jeremiah 5 and 21. Hear now this, O foolish people, mm -hmm. and without understanding. And without understanding. But we're here to give you understanding, right? The scriptures say wisdom cry without, 
she uttered her voice in the streets, right? But, and part of that understanding is fear. There's nothing wrong with fearing the God of the Bible, man. And it has in the Bible how you're supposed to fear him. Keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. It ain't hard. Don't worship any other gods. You know? Don't have idols in your crib. Have a, a, a balanced diet, you know? Can't be eating the bumble foods. Shrimp, crab, lobster, pork. And it reads, and without understanding, which have eyes and see not, mm -hmm. which have ears and hear not. And yeah, they see us out here week in and week out, man. You know? And they, and they hear us, but they can't perceive what we're talking about, man. Because the Lord has ultimately blinded them, man, from receiving this truth. The Lord don't want them to receive this truth, man. And that's a cold deal. So why are you out there preaching then? Because it's a, a remnant that's going to get this word, man. The elect is going to get this word. They're going to repent and they're going to turn back to the Heavenly Father. And they're going to be saved, man. Because you're not saved yet, man. You know? Scripture so say, whether they hear or forbear. That's right, whether they hear. For I know that this is a rebellious house. Mm -hmm. And it reads, Fear ye not me, saith the Lord. Hey, look. Fear ye not me? You know? You got to be kidding me. That's the perfect time to bring out Deuteronomy 32 and 39. It's Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39. See now, see now that I, even I, am he. Mm -hmm. And there is no power with me. Yeah, there's no other gods in heaven but the most high, man. I kill and I make a lie. The Lord kills and makes a lie. Keep that in mind. Uh, right. when, you, when, you, when your family member, right, who y'all claim is innocent and ain't never done nothing, when the Lord takes him or her from off the earth, you know, just remember, it came from the Lord. When a little five-year-old gets shot in the head in the hood, okay, the, the, the only one to do is smile and be happy. Just remember, the, the one who you, who you love so much, right, is the one that, that gave the issue. I had to put that head out on that person, man. Right? I kill and I make a lie. And that's plain. The Lord said he kills and he makes a lie. I didn't see the Lord come down here and do anything. No, because the Lord puts the spirit on people to do it, man. You know, he has angels out here doing his work throughout the four corners of the earth, man. It's like he got angels right now, man. Professing his word. And what's the part of word? This is fear, man. You know? Go ahead. I wound and I heal. Mm -hmm. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So, read what you just had. Hold that. Jeremiah 5 and 22. Uh -huh. Fear ye not me, saith the Lord. Yeah, that's, that's a, a question. Fear ye not me? So you're not going to fear me? Hey, look, hey, look, there's no other gods with me, man. You know, I kill, I make a lie, I wound, I heal. Is there any can deliver out of my hands? And you still not gonna fear me? That shows you that Jake is sick, man. They're going in the head. Verse 40. For I lift up my hand to heaven uh -huh. and say, I live forever. What other God can do that, man? Somebody let me know. What other power has said that, man? I never heard of any famous quotes from Buddha. You know? I never heard of a famous quote from uh, Allah saying that he lives forever. You know? The Hindu goddess, Shiva, right? It's King Tut saying it. It's King Tut saying he lives forever, man. Did King Tut say he kills and he makes a lot? No, man. But yeah, I think we'll dive head first into that ecotology, man. Destroy, man. That was it. Uh, real quick. Yep. In Sirach 1 and 8, 
there is one wise and greatly to be feared, mm -hmm. the Lord sitting upon his throne. There you go, back in Deuteronomy 32 and 39, man. The Lord said, what? There's only one wise and greatly to be feared. Ain't said your boss in your job. It didn't say a woman, it didn't say your kids. It didn't say the government. It didn't say uh, these other false idols. It didn't say that, man. It's the most high sitting on his throne, man. What is Buddha sitting on? Right? The carpet in your living room? You know? Back in Jeremiah 5 and 22, fear ye not me, saith the Lord. Uh -huh. Will ye not tremble at my presence? Hey, hey, look, would you not tremble at the Lord's presence? For example, man, when our, our, Lord, our people want the Lord to speak to them, to them directly, man, you know? So what Moses tell them, right? What they had to do? Get themselves clean for three days, right? No popping your woman, no none of that, man. Keep yourselves clean. And the Lord will come talk to him, man. As soon as they heard the, the, the cracking and thundering, what they say, man? Nah, man, we'll, 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 we'll take this message from you. You know? If I may, uh, if I may say, they, they supposed to be uh, trembling at the top. Be brave, guys, man. We ain't got nothing to do with Muslim. Why right, so? I do um, recognize the Israelites. All right, we Israelites, man. You Israelite too. I know. All right. The chosen ones. Better believe it. You got it, bro. <laughs> this is um. This is First Samuel sixteen and five. Uh -huh. This is 1 Samuel 16 and 4. And, Be and Samuel did that which the Lord spake. Yep. And came to Bethlehem. And the elders of the town trembled at his coming. And said, comest thou peacefully? You know, so they trembled at his presence. Yep. You know, we are, pres we are uh, the ambassadors of Yahweh by Shemam You know, of the Lord. So when we come on the scene, it's as if the Lord Himself came on to you. Yahweh Shai came on to you and spoke on to you. You know? And what the Lord spoke, what the prophets always spoke, was of war, evil, and the pestilence, you know? The Lord didn't send his prophets when he was pleased with the when he was pleased, you know? He went out there to prophesy against those countries and kingdoms, you know? That's why they tremble. And you are people supposed to be trembling now that they see the prophet and inquiring how they are supposed to seek the Lord and how to serve him correctly in truth and sincerity. Probably got quickly. Okay. This is Luke chapter 10, verse 16. He that heareth you, heareth me. And he that despiseth you, despiseth me. And he that despiseth me, despiseth him that sent me. So the Lord, right, sends out messengers. You know, he's not going to do the uh, the crop work, man. Okay, he got messengers doing it for him. Because this is not our word. We're just proclaiming it to our people, man. But our people want to hear it from the head God. It's not going to happen, man. There's an order to things, man. That was it. It's back in Jeremiah 5 and 22. It says, Fear ye not me, saith the Lord. Will you not tremble at my presence, mm -hmm. which I have placed the sand for the bounds of the sea? Yeah, place the sand for the bounds of the sea, man. You know? You ever inquire why the water can't go past a certain part? It's because the Lord got it like that, man. You know? Why the water hasn't flooded the whole beach, it's flooded the whole earth. Because the Lord has it that way, man. Even the, 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 the water and the sand spirit, the God of the Bible, man. Come. We shall place the sand for a bound of the sea, a perpetual decree mm -hmm. that it cannot pass it. Yeah. And though the waves thereof toss themselves, yep. yet can they not prevail? Yeah. Though they roar, yet they cannot pass over it. Yeah, because the Lord controls all things, man. You know? 
Esau can't stop those waves, man. You know? But yet, our people fear him each and every day, man. And it's getting worse and worse for the long way in this captivity, man. All right? The Lord controls the bounds of what the waters, the, everything on this earth does, man. Okay? But yeah, our people are not fearing. You know, I, I, I ain't gonna even be scared of that. set before them. Yeah, man. Part of that uh, uh, that law is fear, man. You know? It's set before our people. And we're trying to set it before them again, man. So the Lord have mercy. Well, Jesus got mercy on the elect, and that's what his word is for, and that's what we're fishing for, man. You know? The Lord said, follow me, and I'll make you fishers of men. And that's what we're doing. We're fishing for the elect. You know? And part of that message, part of that, 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 that bait is the fear. So the scripture said there's going to be many that perish because they hate the law. They hate requirements, man. Well, there's, a, there's a requirement in this society. And Jake followed it to the damn T, man. You know? Wear your seatbelt. Wear your seatbelt. Stop at a red light. You know? Amongst many other things, man. Second Andrew 721. Pay your taxes. I know, right? <laughs> you know, a lot of, of Jakes, you know. <laughs> I'm trying to slip that one, man. For the Most High have given straight commandment right. to such as Cain uh -huh. what they should do to live right. even as they came. Yeah, so the Lord gave, we'll finish that. And what they should do, I mean, and what they should observe to avoid punishment. Right. That's right, man. The Lord gave straight commandments, man what our people should do. But yet, they're taking counsel from the wicked, man. And the wicked despise the ways of the Lord, man. The wicked don't promote these law, statutes, and commandments. You know, what they do in the court system? Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth shall help you, God? Place your hand on the Bible, please, sir. Right hand. And then what they do in the Bible? They put it away somewhere, man. And they start bringing their own laws, man. Now people take take counsel from them, man. We're going to be taking counsel from the Lord, man. All right. First thing they should ask them when they get out there: Are you a sodomite? Right. Do you smoke cigarettes? <laughs> <laughs> you, right. uh, I see you went to the barber shop. Right. You're guilty. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like fresh there, buddy. You know, it's sharp. Is that a towel? Right. Get them out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. But the point is. You know, many of our people are going to uh, 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 die, right? Because they despise the ways that the Lord set before us. They despise the requirements, man. You know? You go out to college, right? There's requirements you have to meet to take a class. Well, you're going to need this book. You're going to need that. You know? You're going to need to take this lab course. All requirements, man. But yet, when it turns to the God of God, we require this for our people. You know? They fan their hand at it, man. Well, you're gonna die, man, according to the Bible. I was a yes or no? This is uh, back in Jeremiah uh, 5 and 23. Yep. But this people have a revolting and rebellious heart. They are revolted and gone. Yeah, they have a, 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 a mind, a heart to constantly fight back against the Lord, right? When you, when you, can somebody get that definition of revolt? 
You know? We know what it means, but you know, we gotta someone may not know. You know, you have slave revolts, right? Slave what were the slaves doing to, to revolt? Uh, this is revolt. <clears throat> it's a verb mm -hmm. to renounce allegiance or subjection. Mm -hmm. Rebel. Yeah, to fight back, man. You know? To experience disgust or shock. To turn away with disgust. To turn away with disgust, man. And you have plenty of revolts in history, man. You know, against the enemy. But our people have been revolting against their power for the longest, man. Why do you think we're in the, the position that we're in, man? You know? Why do you think these curses fell upon us, man? Anymore? Uh, some synonyms. Discuss, gross out, repose, put off, mm -hmm. repel, turn off, turn off, insurrection, revolution. What is it, revolution? Yeah. You know, Jake always trying to start a revolution. Mm -hmm. Well, they were they they are trying to revolt against the the wrong guy. You know. They, they, you were on the Lord's side, you know, but then you went clean on the enemy's side. Yep. It's crazy. Yep. That's right. And it reads, uh, uh, mm -hmm. we'll finish this up. It says, Neither say they in their heart, mm -hmm. let us now fear the Lord our power. Yeah, you never thought back and just said, you know what? Let us just fear the Lord, man. You know? So we stop getting our asses handed to us? No, man. Jake found pleasure in revolting against the Lord, man. And they still do. Why you think Jake, you know, hit a word and they'll go light up a blunt, man? Or go commit adultery. Alright? Or, or, or go get a uh, uh, a pork chop sandwich or something, man. You know? You know, eat some calamari or something, man. I'll go get a fresh, uh, 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 Mr. Clean Ball. You know? Oh, look, I'm gonna get tattoos. They just cast the words of the Lord in behind them. Yep. Like they never heard them. Yep. Yep. And that's why the scriptures tell you in Proverbs, there's gonna come a time where people are gonna be seeking the Lord, you know, and they forsake the Lord, the Lord's gonna forsake them. And it reads, Neither say they in, their, they in their heart, Let us now fear the Lord our power, that giveth rain both former and the latter in his season, he reserveth unto us the appointed weeks of the harvest. Let's see. Yeah. Let me finish up. Uh, Deuteronomy 10. Back in Deuteronomy 10 and 12, and now Israel. What did the Lord thy power require of thee? Come on, bro. But to fear the Lord thy power, to walk in, in all his ways, and to love him. Yeah, so the requirements of the Heavenly Father is to fear him, right? Love, and to walk in all his ways. That's what the Heavenly Father requires of us, man. Right? It's not hard. Love is keeping the commandments, man, to the best of your ability. Now, we are in captivity, but that's not an excuse not to try, you know? Yeah, we are one in grace, but that's, that's not an excuse to not try, man, you know? If you have faith, you're gonna, you're gonna do this, man. Yeah, I mean, we should, it, I mean, it is hard, you know? It's a, it's a, it's a constant battle. You know, it's a fight between the spirit and the flesh, but it shouldn't grieve you yeah. to do it. You should be, you should want to do it. Yeah. You should want to fight the good fight of faith to uh, to seek the Lord and to keep His commandments. You know, certain things you can cut out, like you know, easily. You know, but other things are going to be a little harder. It's a process. You know, <laughs> scriptures say the inward man is renewed day by day, and that's what we fighting for. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's hard for Jake. Not to get a uh, you know a fresh lineup, 
it's hard for Jake not to get tattoos. It's hard for Jake, especially the diet, man. That the, the, the diet for Jake is like a drug, man. You know, Jake gotta have that crispy bacon, man. They gotta have them barbecue ribs, pork ribs at that, man. Like there's no other ribs you can eat. You know, you got lamb, you got goat, all right? You got deer, you got bison. Now you tell somebody about some bison meat, it looks like you got two heads, man. And that's, you know, some of the cleanest meat you can eat, man. That's all. Yeah, I was really about to say, I was just having this conversation with the, um, well, somebody that's not in the truth, but they don't eat. They follow the dietary laws. We didn't get deeper conversation, make a long story short. I mean, we were just going over all the substitution. There's pretty much a substitution for every abominable thing. Yeah. They're like, it shouldn't be that hard to not eat pork bacon. It's beef bacon, turkey bacon, just all the stuff you're saying. Like, for yep. every abominable thing, yep. there's like a counterpart that's lawful yep. and tastes, well, to us, even better. Yep. So, yeah. Huh? I know, right? I ain't tried that, but I seen it in the oh, grocery store. That's right. <laughs> hey, look, you know. That shellfish, man, that's a hard one for our people too, man. Yeah. You know? That shrimp. Yeah, for the women, yeah. 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 I was in the store today, I heard a woman order some, some shrimp and uh, some scallops. I was just looking at her, man. Maybe wanted to just throw it the way she was just ordering her food, man. Then they got to clean it. They know that. Yeah.
time. Romans 12 and 3, for I say, through the grace given unto me, mm -hmm. to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think. That's right, man. That's a, that's one sure way to get yourself uh, quickly out of this truth, man, is to think you're something that you're not, to think you, you know, on a higher level or better than someone because you have this word and they don't. Hey, look, man, we was all walking around two thirds at one point, man. You know, and the Lord found mercy upon us and brought us in His truth, man. So who are we to, to think that you know we're somebody? Now, I'm not saying that you know to think lowly of yourself, you know, because we do hold the best office you can hold in in, 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 uh, in the world, preaching the truth doing the works of the Heavenly Father, you know, so we enjoy that, you know, we get excited about that, you know, but, you know, being the Lord, man, they're humble, man, start with our apostles and elders and down, man, you know, they showed us the way. And what, is it, what did Yahweh Shai do, man? He was washing his feet. You think if he was, you know, proud and thinking he was, you know, even though he knew he was, he did not like that. You know what I'm saying? You know? I know we got a son, man. Look, you need to uh, do this. And you need to, you know, man. Lord was humble, man. Go ahead. And, and it reads, but to think soberly, <coughs> according as the Most High have dealt every man the measure of faith. Yeah, but to think soberly, right? Because the most high gives every man measure to his faith, man. So I'm the best speaker. Yeah, yeah, hey, come on, man. The most high made you the best speaker. You know, brothers brothers know who can speak. Brothers know who uh, 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 can talk the loudest, can break down the scriptures the best, you know, who can hold posts the best. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. some brothers, they, they don't know how to hold posts, man. They sit down, you know, and you got some brothers, you know, own it. But it's no need to, you know, to boast about it. Brothers know who can break down the scriptures. Brothers know who, who the most eloquent speakers, you know. That was it on that? Yep. Bring me that, um, you got some more? <clears throat> you got anything else? Uh, just... Okay. So, Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. That's right. The Lord has made us watchmen, man. What the scripture say? Take that noise away from me. You got Jake pumping gospel music, right? Blasting it loud down the street. But the Lord ain't hearing that mess, man. You know? Just, you know, side note. The gospel being, being it's being spoken right now. Yeah, being sung right now. Yeah. It says, that was a Amos the fifth chapter, right? Yeah. Five and twenty. Take thy, thy noise, that noise away from me. That gospel music is noise in the eyes and the ears of the Lord, man. And it's noise to us too, man. Ezekiel 3 and 17. Yeah. Son of man. I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Yep. Therefore, hear the words in my mouth uh -huh. and give them warning from me. Yeah, once again, these are the words of the Lord. And we come out here to do what? Give a warning. Right? A message to our people. Who's our people? The so-called uh, Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and the uh, Israelite foreigners, man. You know? The ones that you see, uh, the, 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 you know, the so-called uh, white man, right? Acts like a jake, you know. But man, why, why you had that black for? He might be a jake, man. The you know, that came up early. Yeah, yeah, he was a jake. Yeah, you know. You see a a, a, a foreigner, right? Yeah. 
I know, right? <laughs> but, uh, go ahead, bro. Yeah. Okay. So, talk about talk. Ezekiel 317. Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17. I lost my train of thought. Son of man, have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Mm -hmm. Therefore, hear the word in my mouth. And give them warning from me. Yeah, and this is the warning, man. This is the biggest warning right here, man. To see so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans on the streets of America throughout the four corners of the earth preaching the downfall of where they're at, man. That's the biggest sign, right? With Bibles in their hands. With Bibles. Not guns, not weapons, but the Bible. You know what I'm saying? And then you start to see the prophecies uh, uh, coming to pass. But yeah, no one's taking heed to the warning. You know? We're trying to make you ready to the battle, man. It's a spiritual battle that's coming, man. Starting now. It's there, it's there, it's here. He saw once. Late to the fight. That's what that's part that's part of his whole chip of this agenda with this chip. Yeah. This man wants power over your spirit, you know? Yeah, over your soul. Oh really what you can't hit, you know. Yeah, yeah, we know that. Yeah, this this man, that's why he tries to, he wants to put a chip in you and try to control you. Yep. It's going to be more than just buying and selling, you know? Hey, look, hey, and like you said, it's already started. So Jake is late to the party, right? Mm -hmm. You ever watch the, the, back in the day, WWF, when they had the, uh, the, uh, the, the uh, I forgot the name of it, it was like all the wrestlers are in the cage and they fighting all at once. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Run, run, run. Yeah. Then you get the last runner, that last wrestler running down the tunnel. He slides in. That's <laughs> Jake, man. Jake late to the fight, man. You know, they, as soon as they jump in, you know, they done got hit. You know what I'm saying? They should be the healthiest, though. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. They're supposed exactly. to win. Exactly. You know? You come in now, it's the best time exactly. for you to come in. You know? Yeah. They mm -hmm. come in, they say, yeah. We don't have that much longer <laughs> to catch a hell in America. That's you right. know? That's right. You gotta come in now and get built up. Quick, man. Quick. You got the internet. You can literally watch videos all day long. Mm -hmm. all, all night. Yeah. There's all sorts of uh, avenues of this truth, man. You know? Social media. Right? The streets. The streets? <laughs> you, got, you got a cell phone. You got a laptop. Yeah, computer. They got Xbox. Yeah. You can watch videos on the Xbox. Right. Mm-hmm. You really don't got no excuses. A lot of people, they, they, they're like, uh, they're like Dennis Sims, man. Y'all you know who Dennis Sims is? No? Nah. There's a guy. <laughs> he did a, uh, an interview on him about the Confederate flag. He was a Jake. And he had a Confederate hat on. He was interviewing him about some statue he was trying to take down. And he said, uh, he said, I'm blind. He said, uh, my grandfather's here. Yeah. I know what you're talking about, basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he said, my grandfather was white, and I just, you know, it, it boils my blood to see you trying to take down that statue. You know? But that's the mindset of our people. They, 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 they destroy, man. You might be there, though. I, you know, I, I said that in, in the lesson. You know? It could be. You know? He was adopted. Say it was adopted. Mm -hmm. What's that new woman's name that's trying to be vice president? Camilla Harris. She a terror. You think so? I doubt Benjamin. Uh, Delia Cole went to that. She a terror. She juiced in though, I tell you that much. Mm -hmm. She's juiced in. She married to a Jew too. Mm. You know, so called Jew. Who's she, who's, she supposed to be, who's she supposed to be running with? Joe Biden? Yeah. Well, he chose somebody else though, right? I chose her. No, I chose her. Oh, okay. Like a week, like this week. And then it goes here to show you more how destroyed our people is. Hosea 4 and 6, huh? First black woman. Right. You know, first black woman, blah, blah, blah. It's but, all a political thing for him. Yeah, yeah. It's all a big game, man. Because here it is, you know, uh, uh, Puff Daddy, Charlamagne the God, a bunch of other uh, so called famous rich Jakes was telling Joe that, look, if you don't, if you don't take a black woman to be your uh, running mate, you're gonna lose the election. 
you peons, what do you know, man? The election's already so, sold up already, man. If there's gonna, if, if there's gonna be another president to replace Trump, they already got who it is, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and it's all a big show to get the people riled up, man. Our people are destroyed, man. You know, you had the you had that Simpsons episode with uh with um I forgot it was something in the future, you know, and um take your pick. Lisa, yeah, Lisa, that's the little girl's name. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She was like she became president of the United States. And um she was like, Donald Trump has ruined our economy. You know, he was the president former. Wow. You know, Joe Biden can win. Have a heart attack. Have a heart attack. Yeah, they already say you're about, yeah. to, you're about to die. You're about to croak. You know, because Esau likes to play God. Yeah. You know? His uh, um, predictive television. Mm -hmm. you know? Predictive programming? Yep. But it's predictive uh, television, you know, where it predicts what's going to happen through his media. Yep. Through his TV. Yep. By so, who fools to? I think that's what the brother like calling it. <laughs> the, the fools too. The fool too. You got any more in that, Shamar? Yeah. Yeah, finish it up. It's uh, Ezekiel 3 and 18. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die. Yeah, the wicked, the wicked of our people, man. You know? And you see the wickedness of our people each and every day, man. And you know, and, that, and, 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 and it should boil your blood, man. To see the wickedness of our people. And we're telling our people, right? Yeah, exactly. We tell our people to repent, man. That's you know? Dude. Yeah, exactly. You see wickedness every day, man. And that's promoted here in this place, man. You know? But the point is, like the brothers reading Ezekiel 3 and 17, you know, we're giving the warning to our people that look, man, you gotta repent. If you don't repent, you're gonna be destroyed, according to the Bible, man, upon the arrival of the Lord, man. You know? But our people, what? They're, they're the Antichrist, man. A lot of our people are Antichrist. They don't believe in the Lord. They're a bunch of little demons and demons running around, man. They need to get put down, man. You know? Go ahead, bro. Ezekiel 3 and 18. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die. Oh, no, but America says no one's going to die, right? The, the wicked don't deserve to die. The Lord said what? All the wicked is going to die, man. Thou shalt surely die, the wicked ones of our people, man. You know, they don't want to hearken to the words of the Heavenly Father, right? They're going to die, man. Go ahead. And thou givest him not warning. And look, if thou givest him not warning. That's why we got to constantly be out here, man. Week in and week out, you know? People don't believe in the Lord, man. Our people don't believe, man. You had a Jake just walk by with two crosses on his neck. Two. We read the scriptures. You that gun ho for the Lord, right? So called gun ho. Because if it's gun ho for the Lord, you wouldn't have them idols on, man. You know? Think about it, man. I always say this, man. You walk past the store, you got the game on, you in the sports, you gonna stop by, you gonna you going you gonna catch some of the game. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna see one of the fast playing. And then you're gonna go on about your business, man. But these, 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 these jakes out here, man, they claim they about the Lord. When you see somebody reading the scripture, you want to stop and say, hey, okay. You know what I'm saying? Let me listen for a minute. But Jake don't do that, man. Jake is a bunch of actors, man. A bunch of actors. And here it is. We're giving the warning to our people to repent from their acting, their wickedness. And they don't want to hear it. I got something. Come on. This is, um... St. Matthews, I'm going to show the point, 15 and 7, ye hypocrites, woe that Isaiah prophesied of you, saying, this people draw nigh unto me with their lips. Yeah, you hypocrites, you actors, man. Yeah, you, you, you draw close to the Lord with your lips. Oh, I love the Lord, and love the Lord is wrong, I don't want to be right. That's what they say, each and every day, man. That this people draw nigh unto me with their mouth and uh -huh. honor of me with their lips, yeah. but their heart is far from me. Yes. They, 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 they honor the Lord with their lips, praise the Lord. They make their praise the Lord with their lips. Alright? But their mouth.
mind is far away from the Heavenly Father, man. Right? No, their, 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 their mind is so far gone, man. They're a bunch of actors, man. They're a bunch of actors, man. church here and there, you know, it's something about that, it don't sit right with me, man. I took it off, maybe like, it was quick, man, I, I can't remember how quick it was, but I received a $4,000 check in the mail. Crazy, right? Hey, look, man, the Lord works in crazy ways, man, but when I took that off, boom, you know? But anyways, I'm sorry, brother, go ahead. Hey, surely there's a reward for the wicked. Yeah, for the, for the wicked and the righteous. Yeah. You know? There's a war for the wicked, there's a war for the righteous as well. That's right. We can finish that. Uh, I got a few just 8 and 11. Okay. Yeah, let's finish this. All right. 
says, um, but the, 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 thou shall, the wicked of our people shall surely die, which means truly, man, if you don't get this warning. And thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way mm -hmm. to save his life, mm -hmm. the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood, but his blood will I require in thine hand. Yeah, man, so we're not out here giving the warning. That's why it's very important, man. You got to preach this truth, man. Hey, hey, be consistent. Hit them streets, man. Hit them streets, man. Not so. But, um, good times. Yeah, yeah. What, what? When, when, uh, 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 um, what was the little son's name? I can't forget. I can't remember his name, man. Michael. Michael. You know, when he, they, you know, he's like, yo, when you put this picture on, hey, everything's going love, love. You know what I'm saying? But what, what did the N.W. say? Mm -hmm. well, this is the only thing <laughs> I know. <laughs> right. And that's the N.W. for you today, man. You know? N.W. just read through the lines, man. The N.W. Yeah, the N. The N. Woman. Okay? <laughs> right. <laughs> read through the lines, man. We don't want, you know, the stream getting cut in the hall. You know? Well... Real quick, this is uh, Ecclesiastes 9 and 10. Whatsoever thy hand finds to do, mm -hmm. do it with thy might. Yeah, do it with all thy might, man. Now look, Jake, Jake will go and, and, and do all thy might when it comes to making the basketball team, making the football team, you know, trying to make it to the NBA or an acting career, right? Because you can get cut. Yeah. You know? That's right. You can get cut from those things. Just like, like you can get, get cut, exactly. Yeah, you just like you can get cut off <laughs> from being the children of Israel, because the children of Israel, the children of Abraham, are those uh, are, are those with faith. You know, yeah. so you're not uh, proving your works by your faith, and your faith by your works. You know, the Lord is gonna uh, uh, reveal you. Yeah. You know, and you're gonna be cut from the team. And we've seen guys get cut from the team, man. Yeah, and that, that, that's a scary thing. Man, you know, that was scary, man. Mm -hmm. You know, got him looking like the, the Joker, man. Yeah. Alright. You know, but anyways, that's neither, you know. Yeah, brothers knew that guy, too. Yeah. Brothers can't win him. Yeah. You know, broke bread and everything. Once again, whatsoever thy hand find to do, yep. do it with thy might. Yeah. For there is no work, nor device, mm -hmm. nor knowledge, uh -huh. nor wisdom right. in the grave, whether thou goest. Yeah, it's going to be too late, man. Once the Lord requires your soul, what can you do, man? I, uh, I, was, just about to, I was just about to make my, my plank. You know, I was just about to, you know, write. I, I was going to go out there and speak, Lord. Lord, you see this notebook? Right. <laughs> Full of precepts and lessons. <laughs> you know? It's going to be too late then, man. It says, uh, and what shall you do when the Lord shall finish you? That's right. Not a damn thing, man. Not a damn thing, man. You know? The Lord, look, your words are Ecclesiastes 3 and 19. Right. Yet if thou warn the wicked. Yet if we warn the wicked ones of our people. Right? And look, Jake come out here and hear this word. And look, man, we don't warn them. Right? And he turned not from his wickedness. And he turned not from his wickedness. Right? Uh, my, 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 uh, my, uh, my, my pops was smoking his whole life, man. Never got lung cancer. Nothing never happened to him, man. He died peacefully in his sleep. Right? So, you know, what do you mean I gotta stop smoking, man? You know? What that, that, that lady said that day, that time we was up there, man, pork is good. You know? <laughs> she turned around with a big bulging eyes. Pork is good. You see, her, see that body shape of hers? Right. Destroyed, man. You know? 
I've been eating pork since I was a little lad. Right. You wonder why you over here are almost homeless. Yeah. And walking, walking, you know, with a limp. Mm-hmm. You know? And you're on six, seven different medications from the doctor, man. You know, it's killing you slowly. You know? And turn not from his wickedness, uh -huh. nor from his wicked way. Right. He shall die in his iniquity. Yeah, in, in his sins, man. He's gonna die in his sins, man. Right? But thou hast delivered thy soul. Yeah, but we delivered our soul. We got the blood off our hands, man. Because we came out here and gave a message. Well, when the last time uh, Pastor Porkchop, Deacon Bacon, and Reverend Ham told our people to repent from their wickedness, man? You know? They got a lot of blood on their hands, too. You know? And the Lord's going to require that blood, man. That was in that? Go ahead, um, what's up? What you got? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. Come Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Because sentence against an evil work um, because sentence against the evil work is not executed speedily, right? Because what? Back in the ancient times, man, you know, you, you went off, you got uh, 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 judged quickly, man. You know? Bam. You got judged quickly, man. An unruly child, bam. Got, got, got uh, judged, man. You know? Look at the, um, what book is that? The History of Susanna? If I'm not mistaken, my table of context is gone. Yeah. Yeah. She, you know, she was raped. Yep. You know? And they had come up, the false witnesses got, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think that. Yeah, she was raped. She was, uh, there was uh, two elders, there was wise men, and um, they was lusting for her. And they seen her in the garden, and they shut the door behind her. And uh, she had screamed, and they said that, uh, a young, they had caught her and a young man, she was laying with a young man and they uh, couldn't catch the young man. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the wallet, bro. It's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bro. It's been a while. I don't remember. Okay, so we gotta go back and refresh him, man. We yeah. Oh, well, look. Hey, the false witnesses came up against her, you know? And the Lord, you know? Yeah. It was a Daniel. They were judge. That's right. And, and that's and, and that's the whole thing we're telling our people. You don't want to be judged for your wickedness, man. Because there's a judgment for wickedness, man. And we're telling our people what the wickedness is, man. You know? If you out here worshiping your woman, what do you think marriage is about, man? That's woman worshiping, man. Well, it should be the other way around. Our women are used to being on their knees, right? You mind looking down your knees and the floor for the Straight demon, man. You see his face? Looking at us. But come on ahead and get this work, man. Get this truth. <laughs> you know? They don't believe anything can happen to them until it happens to them, man. Ecclesiastes 8 and 11 because yep. sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Yep. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men uh -huh. is fully set in them to do evil. Yeah, their minds and their minds is fully set in them to do evil because they haven't been judged for their wickedness. Well, I, I, I've been, you know, selling selling drugs for 10 years now. What do you mean I'm going to get judged for that? I've been popping my neighbor's wife ever since they moved in. <laughs> what do you mean I'm going to be judged for that? Someone going to do it to me, you know? I might as well do it right. What do you mean I can't uh, 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 um, have uh, you know, these idols in my crib? What are you talking about? It's decoration. What do you mean? I've had them my whole life. You're going to get destroyed, man. There's going to come a time where the Lord is fed up with your wickedness, man. Okay? And some, some, some people ropes are longer than others, man. Your rope may not be as long as the rope of, of someone you know, man. You don't know what you've done in your past life. Yeah. The Lord knows. Hey, look, your judgment might not be as bad as His. You yeah. know. Yeah. The Lord is a is a uh, is a just is a just power. Yeah. 
You know, he judges every man accordingly. You know? Also, every man saw that shall you also reap. The Lord's weighing their wickedness in the balance. That's right. It's not for you Israelites, man. Let these heathens do what they do, man. They're going, Sorry. they're going to eat shrimp. They're going to eat crab legs. Let them do that, man. But it's not for you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And then you wonder why you get jacked up. High cholesterol, high blood pressure. Because you're eating the bumble foods, man. You know? You gotta go. That's why, um, that's just all a justification for using those pork capsules. You know, for the, for the vitamins. Oh, it's good. It's good for you. Yeah. You know, that's a good source of protein. Yeah. You yeah. know? It's that's healthy right. gut bacteria. That's right. You know? That's why they want you to uh, consume raw pork broth at that. That's right. You know? It's, it's sure. just sick, it's sick, sick, sickening, you know? That's right. So, where we at? A little bit more. Nah. Verse 12, the way sinner do eat. Though a sinner do evil a hundred times, uh -huh. and his days be prolonged. Yeah, them been wicked his whole, whole life, man, but yet his days are prolonged. You know? Why, though? The Lord ain't forgot. You know? The Lord has not forgotten, man. What you did in your past life and in this life, man. Go ahead. Because there's such thing as reincarnation in the scriptures, man. Yet surely I know that it shall. Yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear the Most High. That's what we open up with, man. Open up the camp lesson with fear. It's about fearing the God of the Bible. You know, it's going to go well for those that are terrified of the God of the Bible's only begotten Son, man. But for those who don't fear the God of the Bible, it's not going to go well for you, man. But read this throughout the script. Look, you, look people, you can read this for yourselves, man. You know what I'm saying? But when you read, make sure you pray for your understanding. <laughs> you know? Because like, you can read the Bible, but you know how the Lord not suffering with you through. You know? Yep. Understand without reading this? I cannot. That's someone. one. So guys, there you go. And it reads, Yet surely I know, this is Ecclesiastes 8 and 12, yeah. Yet surely I know that it shall be well with them uh -huh. that fear the Most High. Surely we know it shall be well with them that fear the Lord, man. That's what it's about, fear, 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 man. You know? Being terrified of somewhere or something that can cause harm, man. And we just read that the Lord is the one that causes the harm. The Lord is the one that gives the issues of life and death, man. But yet, ain't nobody fearing when the Lord's speaking? Oh, I guess because we don't have on suits, right? And ties and cufflinks and gaiters. And there's some big mega church, right? That's why no one's listening, right? That's fun. But we, we're looking for that needle in the haystack, man. You know? Right? Yeah. Yeah, that's just gonna be like us when we out here. The yeah. damn store is closed, my man. Yeah. yeah. You over here calling people. Yeah. They say it's not close to close to five. Yeah. Why, yeah. why is it closed early? Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know what to do. You yeah. want me to stay here? Yeah. Ain't nobody sweet. coming back. Right. <laughs> that dude pulled that dude was screech tired. The, the dude that was working in there, he yeah. pulled he kinda of hurt and just pulled all he he all oh, ass real fast, man. Well that's you. So say I'm fine. Damn. That's how Jake gonna be. Yeah. Man, I know. Yeah. They might come back. Yeah. Yeah, we look, we're not we not Lord's 
The Lord said we're not going to come back on the highways and byways. That's right, man. It's going to be funny. You know, know right? we got lines of jakes, man, just posted up where we be camping at, man. Wait the internet. Wait till the YouTube. Wait for, yeah. just for the YouTube to get yeah. shut down. Yeah. And then the Lord really yeah. shut this uh, yeah. clan that closed off the breaches. Yeah. You know, cut the bridge. That's right. If you ain't on the side of the bridge, you ain't going to be in no application. Coming through, man. You know? You know? Let's get that. Let's get, uh, Amos? 8 and 11. There's going to come a time, man. There's going to come a time where our people going to want to know how to fear the Lord and keep His commandments and all this, that, and the third. That wisdom is going to be too late, man. It's going to be too late. You know? They're going to be screwed. Where are all these gnats coming from, man? That's some fruit. Oh, your juice thing, man. No, that's not it. My juice way over there. Oh, that juice, something. Probably chemical shit in the air. <laughs> yeah. That was the first B I saw all year. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind yeah. of me too. Yeah. I'll let you know, man. This place, man. This place ain't coming. You don't even see bees no more. Where yeah. the flowers at? Right. Uh, hey. You brother got it? You want me to read it? Yeah, you read it, bro. You want me to read it, bro? You want me to read it, bro? You want me to read it, bro? You but it's gonna come a time when our people, you know, it's, 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 there's a thing called too late, man. And you don't want to be in that category. Oh, what, what is, you know, what is it gonna hurt to come out and, and just hear the words, man, live and direct, man? You know? You, what is it? Uh, park in the middle of the street and just walking out, but uh, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you gotta show your how about you now, shout out your, your, your true about this, man. Now, if you're in some rural area where you just can't get, we get it, man. You know, but you have access to get out here. Now, Tom Riley, you get out here and, and hear the word, man. I say, if you pray. Yeah. Hey, scoop say, ask and you shall receive. You pray. You, you, you if you uh, uh constant. The, what the? Can I get the scripture in Luke, man? Go ahead, bro. The Lord said, you hear, one more. Yeah, you're with the unjust judge, saith. You know, yep. we got a wicked judge. This is um, Luke 18 and 1, and he spake a parable to them to this end that men are always to pray and not to faint. That's why right, always to put that, bro. Yeah, so when you pray to the Alba Shemar Shai, hey, he, he has to make all that request, ask again. You know? You, you know, well, I'm going to make it out to the brothers, you know, to go to camp. I know it's an hour away, mm -hmm. I know it's this far away. You know, this week I couldn't make it. Well, ask the Lord again. Can you go next week? Yeah. And keep asking, you know? And, and, and believe that the Lord well, is going to come through somehow, right. some way. That's right. Dang. Yo, you know your uncle, right? Mm-hmm. Uncle, uncle, uncle Rodman? Uncle Elroy. Yeah. Uncle Elroy. <laughs> Man, he just bought a brand new Mercedes Benz. Right. He said, you can have his old car, son. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> you can use right. this. Right. <laughs> What? You know what I mean? Okay. That's the type of work the Lord's going to do. Yeah. You know, if you believe, yeah. the Lord make a way. Right. Saying there was a judge in a city which feared not the Most High, mm -hmm. neither regarded man. And there was a widow in that city, and she came unto him, saying, Avenge me and my adversaries. And he would not for a while, but afterward he said with himself, Though I fear not the Most High, nor regard men, yet because this widow troubleth me, I will avenge her, these by her con continual coming she weary me. And the Lord said, <laughs> hear what the unjust judge saying, saying, so we got to come continually to Yahweh yeah. Shemel Shai, you know? Work is hers. Yeah. <laughs> Keep crying out to the Lord, you yeah. know? You can't, we, brothers pray that the Lord hurry up and come back. Yeah. It's not just a one-time thing. Right. What's that, man? Oh, no. It's especially dropping that. Right. y'all see that? That was a, I think that was a dude, to be honest. Damn. The wig one. Purple wig, short purple wig, man. Well, those arms, they look kind of, they look feminine. Look, 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 yeah, but it was like cut up, like up here. I'll take that one. Huh? Take that one in that black car. Yeah, man. I don't okay. know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
make all ready, but none go up to the battle. So none go up to the battle. Jake is not preparing themselves. Now is the time to build up the inward man, you know? To build yourself up for the day that's coming upon the earth, the hour of temptation. You know? To be able to go through the affliction. You know, uh, watching these, uh, you know, these brothers start, I've been watching these motivational speaking. You know, it might be a compilation of all the best ones. They got the, the war drums in the background. The dude said, uh, you can't defeat somebody who never gives up. You know? So we can't give up. We gotta constantly believe in your all by Shemel Shai. You know, and keep fighting. Might have been the same group, different place. They was doing it too in the subway in New York. Sa- same WWE theme. They cut the the entrance is when the subway stops and you walk into the train. Yeah. And they yeah, walking in yeah. crazy as hell. Everybody on the train like, yeah. like yo, what the hell? Yeah. yeah. Of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Right. You know? You got a definition? Um, I have something if you if you if you let me read it. Yeah. yeah. You I mean, I'll, if, if you want to wait until after that. Yeah, go ahead and read it. Yeah. Um, this is Jeremiah chapter um, 35, verse 15. Mm-hmm. And it reads. Actually, hold that. Let's, uh, let's finish this one. Okay. 
uh, Zephaniah 2 and 2. Before the decree brings forth, before the day pass as a chef. So before Yahweh should have oh. Say it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, it says, uh, Zephaniah 2 and 2, before, uh, before the day pass the shaft, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you. So the fierce anger, oh Jeremiah 11 11, the fierce anger of the Lord is going to come upon their people. Mm. You know, that judgment is going to come. And it's not going to be anything nice. You know, you thought that you had bad days, you thought you've been through something. But when the Lord, the Lord ate, those were chast, those were ch chastities, you know, for amendment, you know, that in turn that our people may repent, you know, he might jack you up a little bit, you might shake a kid, stop jumping on the couch, you know, you know, 10 minutes later, right. you got his shoes on this time, yep. you know, jumping on the couch, you are, you went, you went, you know, maybe took a bath.
grace for a boy said. That's what we need. We, we need more mercy. We need mercy bestowed upon us. You know, grace. Go ahead. It says, Wherefore he said, The most I resist the will give a grace unto the humble. The Lord is showing that grace. the Lord early, there are going to be ones who find him. That's, that's the Lord showing you his mercy. We are being shown the mercy of Yahweh by Shemel Shai now by being able to receive these words. You got it? Yep. Verse 7. Submit yourselves therefore to the, to the Most High. Mm -hmm. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Yeah, so submit yourselves unto Yahweh by Shemel Shai. That's what you got to do. You know, a majority of our people, they're fighting against the Lord. They're not uh, submitting themselves unto the Lord's commandments. You can bring it back over there. Mm -hmm. Yep. Read down the nine there. Yep. Verse eight, James four and eight. Draw nigh to the Most High, and He will draw nigh to you. Hey, unto those that re repent, He grant them return. You know, so draw nigh unto Yahweh by Shema How do you draw nigh unto the Lord by getting into the Scriptures? Actually, open up your Bible, reading it. You know, when brother is doing lessons, you know, get your, get, open up your Bible, and, and, you know, not, not your phone, but your Bible, because, um, you gotta forget, you gotta forget stuff in your phone, you know, but if you actually highlight the sword, you know, it's a lot more helpful, you know, oh, brother brought this priest up out with this one, let me, let me note that in the scriptures, you know, write it on the paper, you know, of course, you know, I always use blue leather. Yeah, but hey, it's something. It's, it's quicker to really use to really use your sword. Yeah. This is James four and eight. Draw nigh to the Most High, and He will draw nigh to you. Yeah, draw nigh to the Most High. Confess your sins unto Yahweh Shemuel Shai. You know, uh, repent. The scriptures say wisdom will not dwell in the body that is subject unto the, unto sin. You know. So this.
aches and pains that we have, staying out here on this concrete, you know, when we at work, you know, when we lay down in our beds at night, you know, even our bodies are crying to the Lord, man. You know? It reads on, James 4, 9, be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. Yeah, that's, that's something this world doesn't uh, promote and tell you to do. Yeah. You know, so by you taking heed to the words of the Lord, you are you are cleansing yourselves from the pollution that this world promotes. You know? Read, the, read that last part one more time. Yeah, it's James 4 9. It says, let your laughter be turned to mourning. Let your laughter, because there is a time to laugh, you know? But right now, your laughter is supposed to be turned to mourning. You know? We're going to be laughing in the kingdom. The scriptures say, the saints, they shall sing a, they shall sing a loud upon their beds. When they wake up in the morning, you're just going to be singing. You know, you know what I mean? You, you know you're happy then. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Think about it. You know, you watch these movies or shows or somebody's just walking and singing. What you so happy for? What's what got you in a good mood? You know? Yeah, right? That's how we're going to be. Yeah. In the kingdom, though. You know? Yeah. Right now, we in a low state. Yeah. All the food that you eat is abominable. You know? <laughs> the brothers make... Mixed with this. What is ripped meat? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Bunch of meats mixed together. Uh, ground beef. Ground beef, yeah. Yo, man. Y'all already know who I'm thinking about. Uh, you already know. Kingsman? Kingsman. Yeah. Y'all grinding them up. Yeah. You had uh, the brothers make a hilarious. You got the guys with the law, law, law. Yeah. They don't even know they ate a human body already. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Ate all types of bongo foods. Yep. You're going to go off in this kingdom, but you don't want to be going off willingly. Right. You know? You want to fight the good by the faith. Lay hold on eternal life. Right. It says, Endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, for he that war, you know, it, it doesn't entangle himself with the affairs of this life, you know? You can't be entangled in this web that's uh, meant to trap our people up. Right. It says, finishing out mm -hmm. James 4 and 9, it says, and your joy, this, your joy to heaviness. Your joy to heaviness, you know? You got this whole thing on the internet. You got a lot of folly on the internet. You can find folly 24-7. You know, it's really just to keep our people distracted, yep. you know, from what the truth is, yep. you know? You got that, uh, you got, what you about to, you got a precept you want to bring out? Yeah, dude. Yeah, go ahead and bring out, and then you get that Jeremiah. Uh, this is, uh, Isaiah. So, um, let me finish on Zephaniah 2 and 3. So we'll okay, close yeah. Yeah, actually, I, want, I really wanted to go back. Oh, that's not good. Go ahead, I'm sorry. So Isaiah 52. And hey, thy watchmen shall lift up the shall lift up the voice. Well, never mind. Because it was talk, it was going into all how we were going to have joy in the kingdom. Oh yeah. Get that Jeremiah three and twelve off the shot. Yeah. It's Jeremiah. We gonna be big chilling in the kingdom. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I had that. The three and twelve Jeremiah three and twelve. Count count. That's just one to get. Say, 
want to make it out of America, you got to do these things. But at the end of the day, the elect are going to do these things, and that's what gives us hope. Because we are putting therefore on as the elect of the Most High. We're fighting, you know, to, you know, to, to make it. We didn't just go to tryouts not to make the team. Right. You know? I'm just here because my best buddy came along with me. What do you mean? Me, me making you get cut? What was the point? You should have just supported him at the game. You were wasting your time. I, 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 I just want to hit that, man. They tried out. And then that when you try out, they walked out. <laughs> like, dude, why? What's the point? Yeah. <laughs> why even come? <laughs> I think it's always been like that, but... <laughs> I haven't seen it in a long time. Yeah, yeah. I, I've never seen it go down like that. Yeah. I'm going to keep reading. Yeah. Oh, well. It says they didn't obey the voice of the Lord, the voice of the Lord, the prophet. Yeah. Those demons, be 
Because what's over a man seeketh after in this world, yep. that's what the Lord gives you over. The Lord, you know, he, he, he's going he's gonna to try to deal with you, give you, you got a son, you give him some good advice, so you should do this or that. But eventually, you got to get out of the house. Whatever, whatever things you get into is on him. Tell you that Romans, first show. No? Yep. Because they didn't want to retain the knowledge of the yep. most high in their hearts, he yep. gave them over. himself seven other spirits mm. more wicked than himself. So you might have just been eating, you know, you might have just been smoking weed. You might have been a pothead. You over here now. Now you over here prostitute, having sex with men, just so you can get a, a, your next heroin high. Yeah. You yeah. know? That's the type of shit that happens. Yeah. You have that one dude, I don't know, brother, brother, David Granny. Yeah. yeah. He wasn't even part of the camp. Yeah. You know? And yeah. look, them demons be like, hey, yeah. and the host guys. Ah. Clean mm. house too. Party over here. Yeah. They don't want to party. <laughs> you know, nobody want to party in a, in a dirty house. Right. The house clean, they kind of want to party yeah. there a little yeah. more and mess it up. Yeah. Verse 45, then go of he and take it with himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself. Mm -hmm. I complete them out. You know? Yep. Like demons. You know? What a spot at? Oh, we got, we got a spot right here, yo. You know? And it's crazy because brothers that know, brothers, go to people, when you first join the truth, go look at how they're living their lives. You know, when you separate themselves, those demons that were on you, they hopped on them. You know, it might have been a spoken demon. You know, all those demons that were on you hopped on them, you know? They gotta go somewhere. Yeah, they gotta, they gotta go somewhere. You know? <coughs> That's right. That's why, blessed are you when men shall separate you from their company. Yeah. Those men got demons on them. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So it could be the very same one that you have on you. Try to uh, walk your the way back in your life. That's why the, the, the precept, the scripture, Psalms 5111, is, is priceless, man. You got to constantly pray that and remind yourself and throw that in your prayers, you know, that the Lord don't take that Holy Spirit away from you, man. You know? Because you're through, man. You're finished. And you are done for, man. Like the scriptures say, you're worse off. The latter end of that man is worse than the beginning. Exactly. Because what? He didn't know the truth at the beginning. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But then now he knows the truth. Man, it's going to be worse for that guy. It's like, well, I don't even want to figure it out. It's like, do you even, do you even think the Lord coming back? Right. What's <clears> really <throat> going through that dude's mind? I don't want to know. Yeah. I'm like two cockroaches playing ping pong. Ping pong. <laughs> you know? You ever, like, you ever, uh, You ever have a favorite drink or something? You know, you doing stuff for so long, you're like, man, I remember these. Mm -hmm. I used to love these, man. Hey, 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 people ain't gonna say that when the Lord come back. Right. They gonna, they gonna realize, man, I used to, I used to be part of the camp. Yep. You know? Yep. I used to go out there and preach. But you don't think that's the back of these jigs going to fall out? You know what I'm saying?
turn to a whole totally different animal, man. You know? A higher level demon. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Even so shall it be also unto the wicked <laughs> generation. Unto this wicked generation. Hey, they got to reverse that judgment. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, so, Luke 9 62. Yeah, I got that. Then, uh, we'll go back to this. This is Luke 9 and 62. It reads, And Yahweh Shai said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of the Most High. Yeah, what you looking back for? Yeah. You know, what is there in the world that, you, that you're missing out on? Yeah. Dancing, videos, pop, lock, and drop it? Right. Uh, what's that new shit? Mega Italian? <laughs> Wow. 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 Come on, bro. I, I talked to this one Jake, female. She's like, man, I don't even like this song. It's so inappropriate. As soon as it came out, she's singing every word. <laughs> I was like, I thought you didn't like that song. She's like, yeah, it kind of eerie to my soul. I was like, so you you a sweet girl straight out the window. Yeah. She was like, no. I was like, hey, that's what it is, though. I think we just throw their... Their, their false sense of morals and standards straight out the window just to conform to this world. Yeah, and Jake has a conscience. You know, every Jake has a, some type of conscience, man. So they know. But what? That demon, that demon overrides them, man. You know? People and, accepting it. Yeah. Yeah. Shall he die? 
Verse 27. Yeah, another uh, part of that, uh, in that chapter, it says, all his work shall not be remembered. Yeah. It's not like, him like, well, Lord, Lord, remember I was out there? What was that so you Matthews? Lord, Lord, have we not cast out the devils in thy name yep. and done many works? And yep. Lord's going to confess, I never knew you. Yep. You know, they went out from among us because they were not of us. Because right. if they were, uh, were uh, of us, they would uh, surely stay with yeah, us. Remain in faith. They still be here. Yep. You know, so we can't fall in that category of, of disbelief. Right. The words of the Lord then profit them because they're unbelief. All we got is hope. The scripture said we are saved by our hope, so that's what we saved by. Yeah, that's what, of it. Yeah, we're prisoners of hope. No matter how much hell. We catch. We gotta. Have, we gotta keep that hope. And that's what we gotta get up out of here, man. You know, hope is on the bars. Right. This is Ezekiel eighteen and twenty-seven. And when the wicked man turneth away from his wickedness, that he hath committed, and doeth that which is lawful and right, he shall save his soul alive. See, are not my ways evil, right. Lord? If, right. a, if a righteous man turn from his wickedness, uh, turn from his righteousness and commit wicked, I'm gonna judge him. Just as if if a, a wicked man he repent and turn on me, hey. I'm gonna have mercy upon him. What the Lord, uh, what the Lord uh, 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 tell uh, 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 Cain, right? Yeah, I'm gonna read it fast. This is uh, Genesis four seven. If thou doest well, shall thou not be accepted? If thou doest well, you know? shall thou not be accepted? <laughs> it's plain. If you do good, the Lord's gonna accept you, man. Surely I know it shall go well with them that fear the Most High. Yep. It's really that simple, you know. Yep. But as His ways are plain unto the holy, so are they stumbling blocks for the wicked. Mm -hmm. None of the wicked shall understand. Yep. The righteous shall be purified and made white and tried. Yep. But the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall I understand. understand. That's right. It's Genesis 4 and 7. If thou doest well, shall thou not be accepted? And if thou not doest not well, sin lie up at the door, and unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. Exactly. That's why Esau is a man of sin. Yeah. This man didn't do well. But that's right. our people, two thirds, the year of your father the devil. Yep. And the lust of your father you shall do. And you know, killed me, and because I, he was a father of lies, and because I tell you the truth, you believe me not. Yep. Jake, Jake really can't. When they ain't being told the truth, they, they. Yeah. What? Yeah. No way. They'll believe lies all day. They'll, they'll eat lies for breakfast. I tell you that I said it. Props out not to a right thing, props out to a smooth thing. You know, Jake got a wicked diet, so the truth is like the veggies in your green. Yeah, the herbs. The herbs. They push that to a side. Yep. Jake, go for that cheeseburger, that bacon burger. Yeah, you know, bacon burger. Bacon burger. Nothing wrong with a cheeseburger. You know, like not, <laughs> yeah. not the healthiest. Yeah. Pork chops, man. Yeah. They eat Cheetos in their diet. Yeah. They got the flame ones, the jalapeno hey, ones. you seen that <laughs> that turkey Cheeto duck thing for Thanksgiving? Turkey. Turkey. The turkey. The turkey duck? Yeah. Well, yeah, there was a thing where they put flaming hot Cheetos for the season. They put it in the blender. Remember that? Mm. Remember the flaming hot Cheetos on the That's turkey? Too much, man. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it can't eat stuff, man. You're not supposed to eat stuff, man. Yeah. yeah. That's on their diet, right? Yeah. Right? That's so it's alive. They eat it up. You know? <laughs> Raccoon, possum, squirrel. Uh -huh. You know? Roadkill. Roadkill, man. You know, I saw uh, uh, on the Food Network. Yeah, they, they, they doing it in the, uh, oh, okay. yeah. I saw on Food Network, they didn't check them out there. I saw on the Food Network where they had this competition where, in, uh, I forgot what state it was, but they have a, 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 a roadkill competition where you, uh, you have to get, go get some roadkill and make a dish out of it. That's disgusting, man. But that's the why our people are eating up. Yep. Yep. They're taking that roll kill lies that Esau's promoting. And they're sopping it up with the business, man. You got it, bro. Yep. It's Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 28. Mm -hmm. Because he considereth 
and turn us away from all his transgressions. And that's what our people, that's what the Lord wants our people to do, to consider. Consider, yeah. You know, I told you Isaiah, that uh, these people, they don't, don't consider. consider. Yep. They don't consider what pleases the Lord. Yep. Oh, man. They don't consider, they don't judge between what's good and evil. Yep. You know, to sleep with another man. And that's why it's so, people will be like, well, as, uh, what the Lord say, um, do unto others as thou hast loved thy neighbor as thyself. Yep. That's that's it. That's it, bro. Would you want someone else to just be popping your woman? Right. You know what I mean? Right. As soon as you leave the crib. Yeah. Hey, baby, uh, come on, I got room on the way over. He said. Right. Hey, right. Trying to hit it. Right. You know. But, you know that's the wisdom of this world. That's the wisdom that's promoted. That's why our people. You know, they, 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 they stick to it, man. You know what I'm saying? They stick to the wisdom of this world. And then you tell them the truth. It's like, yeah, that's not what I was taught. You know, it wasn't, you know, it doesn't line up with what I was brought up with, so. Yeah, I mean, look at the music. Yeah. I'm in love with a stripper. Yeah. She grinds on the pole. Yeah. You're in love with a prostitute? Yeah. In love with her. Yeah. Just want to give her all your money. Yeah. Her shame is all out there for everybody to see. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. What that demon trace someone say? I want the money. Money in the cars. Cars, cars in the clothes. You know, the hoes, I yeah, suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's I just want to be successful. Yeah, yeah. And that's what comes with success in society. A whole bunch of wickedness. Huh? A whole bunch of wickedness comes with the success in society. Yeah. yeah. But the Lord wants us to consider our ways. Read that part yeah. again. This is Ezekiel 18 and 28. Because he considereth and turneth away all his transgressions. And that's what we have done. You know? We can say that. We consider that the things that we are doing in the world, whether it be eating the bomb for foods, going to the barbershop, getting edge ups, yep. serving these false pagan idols, you know, Christmas, <laughs> listening to a whole bunch of crazy music. You know, we say nothing wrong with some music, but those, if you can't acknowledge that that music don't put spirits on you, you know, you got something wrong with Be careful with these women, man. A woman be like, yeah, you know, I'm single. I mean, I'm talking to somebody, but you know, we not, we not uh, official. Yeah. You gotta leave that demon alone, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That, that's adultery right there. You know what you're I'm saying? Talking to a girl. When you're talking to a girl, what that mean? Yep. Adulterers. Yep. 
You know? You can't serve the most high and, and serve the, uh, the way the, uh, uh, the almighty dollar. You know, which our people are fighting and killing themselves to get. Yep. I, I, look, I saw an article the last week. This old ass Jake, man, he had to be like this. this mid to late 60s. Rob the bank. Dude, go sit your old ass down, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey. Buddy Rob the bank, yeah? Uh, yeah. Old dude, man. Old Jake. But this is, uh... uh Amos chapter 5 verse 4 For thus saith Yahweh Bashim Yahushai unto the house of Israel So far Negro Bashim and the Native Americans Go ahead Seek ye me and ye shall live So seek the Lord, seek his ways and ye shall live, you know We're going to fall down that just tonight Go back to the Ezekiel Yeah This is uh, Ezekiel 18 and 30. That's why we got to get out of this place. Believe it or not, everything you buy, it breaks. Yeah. I don't care how well you take care of it, yeah. it's eventually going to break. Because these things... Well, it tells you that. Matthew 6 chapter. The moth and corrupt. Oh. Cor you know, cor 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 corrupt. New corrupt. Yeah. You know? You know? Moth and rust. Yeah, rust away. Yeah. Yep. You know? This is uh, Ezekiel 18 and 30 and uh, 29. Yet said the house of Israel, the way of the Lord is not equal. O house of Israel, are not my ways equal? The Lord just broke down his ways. Yep. So if a man, I don't care how righteous he was, he, he go back and wing it, he's going to die. Yeah. But if a man, who he could have been the wickedest person on the planet, yep. you know, the Lord put the spirit on him to repent and turn back sorrowfully. Well, I wouldn't say wickedest person on the planet. He did have allegiance. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but you can be wicked, you know? You can be in the world. No matter what type of lifestyle you live, the Lord could have mercy on you. Especially if you acknowledge your weight, you consider the ways of the Lord, and consider that you were going off. And look, man, the scriptures say the angels rejoice for one sinner, sinner, you know, repentant, man. And turn from un wickedness, unto exactly. righteousness. You know? But it says, uh, Ezekiel 18 and 29, mm -hmm. Yet saith the house of Israel, The way of the Lord is not equal. Do you see how <laughs> your ways contradict themselves? Right, you? right. I'm breaking it down to you. Right. It says, O house of Israel, are not my ways equal? Are not your ways unequal? Are not your ways unequal? Right. You know, Jake... You know, Jake wants to do their wickedness and not and not get punished for it. Man. Mm -hmm. You know, there's one the Lord to always have mercy, man. Forgive him, forgive him, forgive him. You know, what's the Lord do? Forgive. You know, the Lord's the one to forgive him by sin. But at the same time, he's not for him. Exactly. You know, how many times is he gonna take a hold back? You know what I'm saying? Lord, uh, you know, man. Tyrone's wife over there. Right. You think the Lord will answer that prayer? Right. And I, right. I would really love to have her. Right. Come on, you what? Right. Nah, you know, the Lord ain't gonna answer that prayer. Not supposed to come in, man. Mm -hmm. You know? And Jake is big for that, man. You know? The Jake is big on pointing the finger. Look what he got. Or oh, what about him? Yeah. Yeah. They don't worry about themselves. Yep. Yep. Verse 30, Ezekiel 18 and 30. Therefore I will judge you, O house of Israel, every one according to his to his way, saith the Lord power. So your 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 things that you done on the earth are gonna be weighing the balance. You know? The Lord gonna judge our people. Whether they were doing good or evil, go ahead. Yep. It says, Repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions. So iniquity should not be your ruin. Yeah. <laughs> it's plain. Mm -hmm. You know, Jake don't want to abide by the laws, man. Jake don't want to play by the rules. I think the laws were done away with. Exactly. Why in Ezekiel, it says repent. 
So iniquity don't be your ruin. Yahweh Shai said the same thing. Yep. Repent ye there for the for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. That's right. You know? Think not. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Come to destroy the law. Same verse next chapter. Yep. It's crazy. But Jake don't want to play by the rules. You know, you introduce a game, you know? And what and what, and what did Jake did Jake put, put twist in the game, man? You know? What are you repenting from? Exactly. You know? What are you repenting from? If you can't commit sin, how are you repenting? Why? Why are you repenting? Right. You know? That's right. Verse 31. Uh, Ezekiel 18, 31. Cast away from you all your transgressions, whereby you have transgressed, mm -hmm. and make you a new heart and a new spirit. For I will, for why will ye die, O house of Israel? Again? Yep, this is Ezekiel 18 and 31. Cast away from you all your transgressions, whereby ye have transgressed, yep. and make you a new heart. Become born again. Yahweh Shai said, at least a man be born again, he cannot enter into the kingdom of the Most High. Yep. And a new spirit. Mm -hmm. For why will ye die, O house of Israel? Yeah, why would you die, O house of Israel? You know, why can't you just listen yep. to what I'm saying? And yep. do what I told you to do. Because yep. I already told you if you don't do what I told you to do, you're going to die. Yep. So why would you die? You know? I told you that same chapter that the Most High takes no uh, pleasure in destroying the wicked, but much more rather that they would repent. Yep. You know? <coughs> Last verse. Ezekiel 18 and 32. For I have no pleasure in death, and the death of him that dieth saith the Lord power. Wherefore, turn yourselves and live ye. If the angels in heaven are rejoicing over a sinner, you know, the angels, they they perfect, right? That's because that's, that's the Lord, you know, showing his joy through them. You know, the Lord would much rather have our people repent, but yep. they're not. Yep. You know, 40 years will I grieve with that wicked generation. And I swore in my wrath they shall not enter into my wrath. You guys are good. Yep. You know, they provoked the Holy One of Israel onto anger. Yep. You know? You got your point. Uh, this is Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek ye Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah while he may be found. Yeah, because there's going to come a time when we not our apostle elders not going to be on the highways and byways. Right. We're not going to be on the highways and byways. You know? The internet, the, the internet, it's going to get tight. You find a brother's video, that's gonna get real tight. Yeah. It's gonna be like water in the dry land. <laughs> you know? During the drought. Mm -hmm. yeah. or, 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 or some great during the famine. You know? Yeah. Call ye upon him while he is near. Call ye upon Yahweh Bashima Shai. So we got the name. We got the name. You know, Nate. So. Call upon the Lord while he is near. <laughs> yeah, you know, I U I C we got the name. Right. So we call upon the Lord while he is near. Wait while he's stretching his hand out. Because the Lord, you know, uh the, like he like he pulled earlier, you know, till they acknowledge their offense. The yep. Lord is gonna hide himself, you know. Let the wicked forsake his way. In their affliction they shall see me early. You know, it's gonna be too late for them. So right now, the wicked are supposed to be forsaken of the ways of this world. You know, there's a way that seems right unto a man, but the end thereof is the way of death. That's that broad path that our people are on. You know, the broad path that leads to destruction. Okay. And, and the unrighteous man, his thoughts. The unrighteous man, his thoughts, leaning on to your own understanding, what you think is right, how you think things should be, like we just read. You know? Okay. And let him return unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, uh -huh. and he will have mercy upon him. Let him return unto the Lord, for he will have mercy upon him. Go ahead. And into our power, mm -hmm. for he will abundantly pardon. That's what the Lord is going to do. He's on 32. And then we'll close off. The Lord is going to abundantly pardon your sins, and that's what we need. We need a pardon. 
we, we're guilty, you know? But these are they that are without fault before the throne of the Most High. We need to be dumb. We need to be part uh, of what, what is written, you know? Those who are, uh, are, are innocent before the throne of the Lord. Psalms 32. Blessed is he whose transgressions is forgiven. That follow the land wherever so he goes, you know? Those are the ones who are going to be blessed. Go ahead. Whose sin is covered. Covered by what? The blood of the lamb. Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputeth not iniquity. And in who sloppy and in whose spirit there is no God. You see? Go to verse five. Verse five. I acknowledge my sin unto thee, and my iniquity have I not hid. Go ahead. I said, I will confess my transgressions unto Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, and thou forgavest the iniquity of my sin. Hey. That's so what you, That's what you gotta do. You know? Now let you know that the um, Catholic priest can't forgive you your sins, man. You know how you go and um, confess your Holy Marys and all yeah. that, all that nonsense. They can't forgive you. Only the Lord can forgive you, man. What did Yahweh Shire say when he was? It ain't even God on him for that. A man can forgive you of your sins. Yep. They got. See, that's how you know they got. That's how you know people don't read the scriptures because they got on Yahweh Shire for it, but he rebuked them. He said. Notice that the Son of Man have power to forgive sins. Yep. The fact that he was healing them proved that. You know what I mean? Yep. Proved that. Come on. You know? Why would the Lord let his... You know what I mean? Yep. Why would the Lord allow you to be healed if he wasn't forgiving you for something? Why were right. you in that predicament in the first place? Right. Who sinned? Right. Him or his father? Yeah, mother and father, yeah. Yeah. It's Zephaniah 2 and 3. Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness, seek meekness. It may be, it may be ye shall be head in the day of the Lord's anger. Yeah, in the day of the Lord's anger, when the Lord's bringing judgment, you're going to be hit. Why? Because the Lord hath pardoned your iniquities. Yep. Your sin is no more seen before the Lord, you know? And that's going to be, you know, uh, evident. The Lord's going to make it to those chariots, you know? And when the Lord is uh, is protecting us during that hour of temptation. And they were trying to do a drive by. Yeah, who does that? At least I don't break so hard. Coward. Yeah. Fucking coward. <laughs> you go ahead and close up, Sean. You want to say anything else before we close up? See you on 9 and 4, man. You know? That time is coming, man. This here, actually. Starting now. Yeah. If the righteous are scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and sinner appear? Yep. They're going to appear in that lake of fire. In the name. That's right. Here. It's like this. Yeah. All right. Hopefully, this was an edifying. Uh, Edifying day for you viewers. Uh, like, well, like, like, yeah, for the hopeful elect, turn back and repent. And before we go any further, we want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory to our Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shai, by Shem, Rakash, Next, double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us this 100% truth by the King James Bible, along with the Apocrypha. And a double shout along to the brothers that tuned in. Brothers and sisters that tuned in. Until next time we say shout along. Shalom. Shalom.